Hi! Welcome to our new video on image R. Today we will talk about the steps you have to do before you start engraving images on your machine. We assume in this video that you've already aligned your laser mirrors perfectly. First let's talk about what we will do in this video. We will find out the sweet spot of your laser, also called the focal length. We will do a ramp test together to achieve that. Then we will find out the needed DPI for your future images. So, let's get started. What we need. A piece of plywood. A digital caliper. A small piece of acrylic. All files you'll see in this video are attached as download in the video description. Enhance one side of the plywood by putting something underneath of it. Now we will move our laser head to the highest position of the plywood. Load a solid line file in your laser software. If you have issues with that, you can use the file I used. The download is in the video description. We will set the power to get a clean solid line and set the file type to cutting. We only want to mark the material, the cut shouldn't go through. As you see, the line is at the beginning and at the end very bright, while well, it is pretty sharp at one point. Let's mark this point. Now we will extend that line so it is easier to measure. Move the head directly over the line. Now we will measure the distance from our head to the sharpest point of the line. We know now the perfect distance from our laser head to the material. So, let's lay down the plywood flat on our table. Adjust your table height to the laser head with the measurements we achieved before. I created a small ruler, which you can put between the nozzle and the material. Remember the number on the ruler where it fitted perfectly for you. For me it is on 6mm. You can download the ruler as well, link in description. This is now your perfect height from laser head to the material, we will use this distance now for every engraving in future. Now we will open the test pattern I created. I will run it with RD Works. As you see, there's always the same cropped image from 159 to 318 dpi. All values are already correct, you have to change speed and power. I ran this on my ADWCO2 laser. Do not mess with the colors, since it will change the step size and mess up everything. If you're a light burn user, you can download the same pattern also for light burn. Everything is in the description. Now let's start the pattern. We are looking for a good shading, no visible dots, but still all details. In my case it is 282 or 318. To find it out you can run now the whole image, I will run the 318 dpi one, since this is for me a little more detailed than 282. If you're unsure, just run both and compare after engraving. So, I will import now the whole image with 318 dpi. You can also download the full images from the video description. For RD works, don't forget to set the correct step size, for 318 dpi it is 0.08 millimeters. I will set my speed to 200 mm per second and my minimal power to 20, my maximal power to 30. Now let's hit start and wait. I think it turned out really great and we know now our perfect DPI for wood. You can do this on any material you want, since it can slightly change. I hope this was helpful, and wish you a lot of fun with creating some stunning projects. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and like the video, and have a great day. Bye.